one forty four. Wow, dude, big win! What a fucking crazy week! Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Especially for that lady who was handed a baby yeah, by a that's fourteen year old. Wow. <laughs> it's like wait, a, you're sitting there waiting on your whopper. Yeah, to like, also, you're like I'm waiting on this Roy Rogers but, fucking. But if that fourteen beautiful. year old put her in a happy meal, <laughs> I swear it's like it passed off as a toy. I was hoping she would just show up dressed like Grimace, trying to fucking just <laughs> pass it off. Like, hey, I don't know where this baby came from. <laughs> like, this is wildly illegal. Yeah. She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> But instead of like a real cop, just, just she's out front. The cops talking to you. See Grimace like <laughs> he's in the back Aww. of the group of people by the press. Like, mm, what's happening over it's like, here? Where did Grimace get that baby from? It's like Grimace gave birth. He's not. Yeah, that's uh, where was that? I think that I was. Mean, I'm assuming Florida. That was definitely the South. I just yeah. don't know exactly where in the South. But they're, they're coming out swinging again. Also, it's like, all right, I get it. It's like a 14 year old gets knocked up. There's a lot of questions with that. Too. Also, where did she have the kid? That's where like that's back. where they're can they they don't know yet because oh, that's fucking horrible. the baby still had the umbilical cord attached to it. Oh, so like that's how they knew she just gave birth Jesus because Christ. the baby still had the cord attached. Dude. I was hoping it'd be funny if she just walked away and it's just like coming out like one of those fucking. That's how they called her. <laughs> that's how they called her because they pulled the baby like one of those fucking like cords that goes into a vacuum. You see the Dude. baby bouncing across the parking lot. I can't even imagine that. Like, the umbilical cord's still attached. And in the South, it's probably just like a Mountain Dew key. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's a nerd's rope. <laughs> it's just fucking bad. Dude, it's a Twizzler's pull and peel. They're like, here we go. It's a fruit by the foot. <laughs> but it's like one of those knockoff brands. It's like fruit roll. <laughs> That's a southern fucking it's umbilical yummy cord. Yummy inches. Come here it comes. <laughs> yummy inches. You better watch out. Dude. Yeah, dude. I don't know where. I mean, then again, it's like that right there is like the act of desperation in a nutshell. Well, I mean, also all joking aside, fourteen years old. She's obvious. She's a kid herself. She's fucking terrified. terrified. So her, and obviously she's retarded because she's like, okay, well, I think this is a good plan. It's like, okay, your plan is to walk into this fucking Roy Rogers or whatever the <laughs> fucking shithole she walked into, and was like, here you go, see you. And they're like. <laughs> What's happening? I just imagine her riding up like on a bike of fucking E.T. with the baby in the basket. Oh, in the front. Like, yeah, but it's guy? a dirt bike. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Yamaha fucking street Dude, bike. It's one of those three-wheeled spider things. <laughs> She's like, how'd she get it? <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Dude, oh, the three-wheeler just banging Rick Ross coming up. <laughs> her uncle's like, drop that motherfucking kid off. <laughs> It's in a fucking tote bag. Like, here we go. <laughs> I don't know why I did that impression. Turns yeah. out they were Asian. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you that's not an appropriation. That's fucking – yeah, we could talk like that in the South. Yeah. So that's – I mean, they obviously but, caught the girl. Well, or... they – apparently the lady who was just lateraled the baby mm. fucking took it, and then they were like, this baby's having breathing problems, which – I mean, I guess. I mean, if that's the only thing yeah. that was happening with that baby, it's God, that's a very good miracle. Yeah. But apparently, she did a little bit of baby CPR. And then... <laughs> What's that? Just like I don't know. Dude. Just spanking it. I don't know. Baby CPR, and then the baby. They called an ambulance. The ambulance gave the baby oxygen, and then the baby started crying, which is always a good sign. Sure. But I don't know if they caught the. Uh, the fourteen-year-old, which I don't know, I don't know why I'm saying caught. I don't well, know. That, well, they definitely I, have to like tell, like find out her, you know, parents or yeah. guardians, whatever, and be like, yeah. So your kid dropped a kid off at a Taco Bell earlier. Yeah, dude. I just that's dude. That'd be so funny if she gets in trouble because her mom's just like, and you didn't pick, think to pick up a gordita <laughs> every <laughs> time. They, they named the baby Baja Blast <laughs> just out of. Just that's out what of, she was baptized in. <laughs> <laughs> this blue fucking Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> this is RC Cola. It's like, all right, it would be funny if when the baby, anytime a baby is born in a Taco Bell, it's code red. <laughs> it's like, it's so just like they don't. It's like we gotta do it. Dude. You have multiple babies are born in fast food restaurants in Florida. Oh it's my insane. god, insane! That'd be so funny if instead of employee of the months on the wall, they just have like dude, birth notices. How <laughs> crazy if you went to a KFC and they had a maternity ward oh, on the dude, side of it? That would be fucking dope. I would not be surprised. It's like, like, just like the chickens spinning in the yeah, rotisserie. Yeah. The next time it's the kids. <laughs> There's just fathers eating an original recipe, putting their hand up against the window. Like, here's my boy. That's my boy. There, there he is. 
<laughs> two minutes old, and I'm already full. Dude, I wish fucking <clears> – <throat> I wish that – did they? Wait, I was gonna say I wish they saw got that on camera, but didn't they have it on camera? Uh, no. I know the late. They showed Afterwards. a picture. They showed a picture of a lady holding the baby. I saw that, and yeah. I don't know whether or not that was like a still image grab from the video or not. But the the fourteen year old has not been shown, and the reason the fourteen year old has not been shown because she's fourteen. Yeah, they can't show this person. But can they just like eh, whatever? I figured they could just blur out her face in the um. Yeah, I guess in the could. CCTV stuff. Yeah, but I mean, it's just like. Who dumps in a 14-year-old? That's a crazy thing, too. Well, it's also like, yeah, that lady who was holding her, it's like, what the fuck's wrong with her? Like, why was she okay? Like, okay, I'll I think it's kid. more like, like what? I mean, you wouldn't, I, that is actually a very good There's way. no fucking way if I was sitting there waiting for my order at some <laughs> shithole in Florida and some 14-year-old kid walks in. With a wrapped up baby, dude. And I, dude, I'd be like, get the fuck away from me. What are you, you doing? If you went up and got your order and you got back to the car and you're opening it up, like, all right, who got the baby? Yeah, dude, Damn it's it. funny because that's like a lay in Hawaii, in Florida. <laughs> you just get a baby when you get off the plane. <laughs> People just throw them away. Like, I don't need this anymore. This is crazy. Dude, yo, I don't even understand their culture down here. They just give you babies right off the goddamn Southwest Airlines. Fuck dude, that. I bet you so many times Tom thought about that. He's, he was so close to pulling the trigger. Dude, but he probably I, wanted to do it when you guys were like 13. My dad <laughs> constantly was looking for fucking carnivals to drop us off at. I guarantee it. So, like, dude, bumper cars, drop the kids. So here's the thing. This kid over here, three years old, great tumbler. Watch, I'll tell you. There he goes. He's like, look, easy to watch. Chained him up to a tree all week camping. Had a blast. So I have, on good knowledge, the younger one is part lycanthrope. So he might be <laughs> a werewolf. If the moon comes out, it's yet to be seen because we're on a lunar new year. So, And I and am Sagittarius. From, so, And also that's from the Chinese. <laughs> so you know it's true. Sorry, I have read the Ottoman <laughs> Bible. So... <laughs> He's good, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah, dude, my dad was constantly looking up firehouses. Like, there's a reason we were always in bowling alleys because he was like looking. He's like, "Oh, what happened? Kyle got stuck." Bowling in the alley. That's a solid leave a kid dude, place at, dude. That's how you just you, you get put him in the ball return. Yeah, just dude. come popping up. Like, Hello. <laughs> Tom looks around. Kyle's stuck in a crane game. He's like, Ooh. "Someone's gonna win him." I'll get him. Yeah, I. I think bowling alley's got to be up there. Obviously, fast food restaurants. Fast food restaurants. And then, you know, their gourmet meals were at, like, TGI Fridays or, like, a Seriously. fucking... Seriously. I think I'm trying to think of, like, where's the best place to leave a kid? Do, I wonder if they Just still the... do, like, you know, the... Baby like a the... convent or, like, a firehouse. So, I had heard the firehouse thing is a crazy myth. Like that's really? like a re- yeah like you can't just leave a baby at a firehouse and you will you can't leave a baby really anywhere. But I mean, like, <laughs> it's not good. Oh, but I'm just I get what you're saying. It's like there's always been that thing where yeah it makes you think how many kids were dropped off at fucking firehouses back in the day. I or, mean, you know, a hundred years ago. That's I mean I know that they're like that's just such a I know why it's like you know very frowned upon because you don't know like no one. No one knows who the people you're leaving with the baby is. You know, they don't know if they're good or bad. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I would have done some research first if I'm going to – like, I would have planned out abandoning a kid. That would be so funny if that's how you got arrested because they look at your Google, Google search history. It's like, <laughs> how to abandon a kid. Best <laughs> spots near me. <laughs> yeah, this one's got five-star rating yeah, for abandoning kids. four miles. That's, that's a walk. Good. I can do that. Dude. Put the baby in my backpack and fucking go across state lines. I mean, I'm sure there's definitely been kids in the past dropped off at fires. I know for a fact, like, convents. Yeah, are, convents like, will take one, but that's like. Well, also, like in Ireland, they were just stealing kids. What, the convents were? Nuns were fucking selling the fuck what? out of kids. Yeah, dude. Dirty Nuns? mix. Baby thievery? Mm hmm. In- wow. I yep. didn't know that. Why would yeah, shipping them to Boston so the priest could rape them? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you've seen Spotlight. That's the whole thing. Dude, that's how it goes, dude. That's how that movie is. If you've never seen it, they steal the kids. See, or now some, this or some, is... I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Could you <laughs> imagine if a priest was in a fucking Taco Bell and someone just gives him a baby? He's like, I'm coming back to this that's, Taco Bell all the time. Dude, that's like hitting the $25 on a scratch off. Dude. You're like, yes, There's dude. just a bunch of priests sitting out in front of the Taco Bell, like 14-year-olds out front of a liquor store. Like, yo, buddy, what are you doing? You buy me a baby in there? Yeah, instead of bingo the old boner. <laughs> Boner. <laughs> There's like a yeah, baby just sitting one. on a dick shelf, just like oh, that's I'm horrible. walking out. What? That's how it is. You know, like, yeah, it is though. I mean, the church are monsters. Yeah, I just, I just think that I didn't. I wasn't really impressed. It's like just 
What? You chose a fast food restaurant. You weren't impressed? I was impressed with that. There are so many other places you could have taken a baby. Like, if you're on foot. And in like, Florida? I don't know. It's a pretty solid spot. It's indoors. I'll say this. <laughs> there there's no way. There's no way that we have. Like, I mean, we just haven't heard of it. There's what? no way that there hasn't been accidental births in Disneyland or Disney oh, yeah. World. But, like, I guarantee some of those babies are just abandoned there. Like, how many kids go missing in Disney World oh, I'll tell every you, year? Dude, I'll tell you right now. We did a family trip to Disneyland. I know for a fact my dad wanted to leave me and my brother. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, we got in a lot of trouble down there. We, what were you doing? I told now? you about this when we fucked up Holiday Hound. <laughs> he was the guy dressed in a dog suit at the Holiday Inn who like watched the kids, and my brother was like, "Fuck you, dude!" <laughs> Holiday Hound. <laughs> yeah, that's what they named him. Some fucking weirdo. And me and my brother were like, "This sucks." I think my brother, I forget what it was, but like he found out like his real name. He's like, "Shut up, Jake." <laughs> He's like, do, do, do. my brother's like, you stink. <laughs> my brother's like 11. Damn it. He's like, so this is what you had planned out for your life? I was like, all right. <laughs> it's like some 11-year-old just scolding him. You see Holiday Hound in the background with a shotgun just putting it up to his fucking mascot mouth. Yeah. Got yeah. the wire all over it, dude. Yeah, we it's rode. Uh, that was like, I remember that trip because like Mr. Toad's thing. Wild there was no line. The one they were there. Dude, me and my brother went on like 35 times in a row. Yeah. Because we were throwing stuff off right before the dip. Like, you're afraid, like, <laughs> come on. You know you got to launch it. Because we were like, dude, I'm going to throw this coin and catch it. Perfect. <laughs> so I was like, just oh, hitting people. Here we go. Gra- like, I don't think I know how gravity works. <laughs> I'm just chucking it. You don't even have coins. You just have, like, I found all these lug nuts somewhere. <laughs> dude. Rain yeah. Down, dude. So, yeah. But also, back to your point where it's, like, definitely Disneyland. Because you're going to remember, like, Obviously, the majority of these people leaving babies are children themselves yeah. that are scared to even tell their parents, which, I don't know, Florida, man, I think that it's like, makes... you know, another thing is like, Florida fucking teenagers never look pregnant, but they're always, always pregnant. Always pregnant, dude. What is the deal there? Every Florida kid is fucking knocked up. And, yeah, and, but you don't know. Like, it doesn't show. You know what I mean? Like, no yeah. no. They just have sh- that weird fat kid belly all the time. I think because, yeah, m- the majority of the population down there had that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, that's what I mean. Kid. Everyone like, just looks too. weird. They got that, like, the marbles with, like, the malnourished a, yeah, dude. stomach. Yeah, yeah, dude, the distension. It just looked like, and that's just a kid getting cummed in by somebody. That's where we, I mean, really, that's where the lawsuits should be. Like, who, came, who came in the 14-year-old kid? True. Who did that? You know he's over 18. Dude, oh my God. I'd say yeah. probably about 27. Manual labor job. Oh, he's Love definitely. Fishing. He definitely drywall roofing and he fucking. Drywall, yeah. He definitely. Dude, he built that fucking. That taco. That hurts belt. her dad. <laughs> it's a family member and dude, she was embarrassed. That's, I mean. Because it wasn't the good looking uncle. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Now you got bad jeans on top of bad creams, dude. That's you know, no yeah, good. dude. And that kid is definitely going to get three first names, and he's going to be a psychopath. Dude, that's like – I mean, that is the beginning of a fucking southern, like, uh, sad how song. Long like, I, how I long have I said off this? in a KFC Taco Bell. It's like, oh, man. Is that a song? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the beginning of one. Oh. That guy's going to go on to write a song about his terrible life. He's like, I was dropped off in a KFC Taco Bell <laughs> I mean, dude, in 2021. Yeah. Oh, I mean, just – Living in Florida or being born there and like living there in some one of the like the shithole towns, like oh not like God. Key West or Miami. It's like some off, you know, bl- like Jacksonville, the, like southern Tallahassee. Oh man, it's like how are you not a massive fucking millionaire blues artist? Because it's like just look outside. It's like there's nine songs right there, dude. dude. Your life stinks. I wonder if that like you know how good do you think a fourteen year old would be at raising a baby down there anywhere. I mean, you got to remember, like, I don't think the rest of the country expect much from most of these sure. parents from Florida. So it's like sure. the bar is not that high for a 14-year-old because, you know, she doesn't have shit. She was probably raised in a fucking trailer park. She probably started out the same yeah, way, you know? they just – they fucking – oh, man. Dinners down there must be wild. They have to be. It's just all fast food. Dude – Coming, I dude, I used to date a chick who own, family only ate fast food. Seriously, all the time. That's fucking there horrible. Was nothing else they ever ate. I don't think they ever like had like a home cooked meal. And if they did, it was like, was she was she big on fast? Did, did she like it? She was like, I mean, she ate fries a lot. She didn't eat meat, which was weird. She didn't eat any meat. So like, we if if it was anywhere, it was just like. 
we would go and she would get like a salad or like fries or like whatever from like the McDonald's or Burger King. Or yeah, Wendy's. she tried to eat healthy. Yeah, and it out of made McDonald's. dude. There's nothing crazier than watching someone like I'm trying to watch my weight. I'm gonna get a loaded baked potato at Wendy's. Hold yeah, on. exactly. And let me shit all over the. That bathroom. is good though. Oh, I know it's good. Loaded bakes, dude. Oof. Dude, loaded bake right. with chili on top of the tape. Ooh, dude, that's a fucking yeah. That's nightmare. a dude. That's that's Thanksgiving dinner in Tallahassee. <laughs> That's a banquet, dude. <laughs> Just going in like banner day. Yeah, dude. That would be amazing. Well, that's – yeah, I don't know. We'll keep an eye out for the <laughs> – I, I don't really give a shit. Future like, serial yeah. killer from Dallas. But speaking of fucking idiots though, and I, I know I brought this up with you. Last night we were at Helium hanging out and then I left and I was walking home and I was like, yeah, this is like – it's like market and – I don't know what whatever this call store was, but it's right by the Wawa right there on Market. And fucking, I'm walking down and I see a cop in the one lane with his lights on. Yeah. For some reason, I didn't notice this car, and I took a picture. I'll put it up on the page later. The guy is facing the cop, driving at the cop in the wrong lane, parked in front of him. And the cop just hits the lights, like okay. And dude, it, in this picture, you see it's like there's a guy in the passenger seat, just like head out the window. Like, Excuse me, sir. What is the problem? <laughs> Blocking the dude, intersection. He is literally in the wrong lane, yep. face five feet from the cop car, and he's like, "Oh, you going to move, sir? You gotta appreciate the confidence, dude." I mean, dude, that's really what it comes down to. It'd be so funny. It was like one of my drunk uncles or cousins or something, and they just tried to like, "Oh, fuck, dude!" And they just like their idea would be like throw on an English accent, yeah. and be like, "Sorry." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sorry. Like, they'd be like, oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> yeah, they don't know why. They, they're, <laughs> they're mixing up yeah, like they're, three races. They're like, top of the morning. <laughs> yeah, power to the people. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they have <laughs> zig, zig power. No, they dude, have no idea what they're talking about. That's some shit He's like, uh, I'll take care of this. He's like, excuse me, <laughs> blue boy, whatever your name is. <laughs> blue boy. Whatever, man in blue. <laughs> I don't know if you've read Article D of my constitutionary dude. right, and it's just on a fucking Wendy's napkin. Dude, like, it is here. I could see, dude, your dad would fucking just panic and just be like, all right, I can get us at this, and just grabs a black Sharpie and tries to go black, but he's like, oh, here we go again. The black man, he's no, oppressed. My dad's not like, even fully covered. My dad's like, hold on, I can get us out of this, and you just close the door, and you just see him take off running. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah. they did it. <laughs> My dad just pretends he has rollerblades on all the time. Like, I've just been here the whole time. What's going on? Yeah, so, I mean, I it's watched like these babies it, drive. And I, I think the cop, I was trying to, like, see if there was a reaction. Because the cop had to be just dying laughing. Like, okay, well, this is a fucking layup. Dude. And it's so funny because I was like, maybe it looked like an accident. Because it was like, okay, maybe this guy got hit and he's in your lane. Nope. No other cars nope. around. It was just this guy in the wrong lane. And he literally had to have seen the cop. This is at the intersection. That means he went through the yeah, light dude. in the wrong lane <laughs> at the cop. And the cop's just like, what are we doing? He's like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, he damn gets it. out. He's like, cars on fire. He's like, I feel like a horse. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> tries to arrest the cop. He's, He's like, like, excuse me, sir. Yeah, you been drinking? He the cop on our citizens arrest. He's like, have you been drinking, sir? Dude, he shows up. He's got a flashlight. He's like, where are you, boy? <laughs> it's just a zippo, <laughs> No, he's got an old timey train lantern. He's like, come on. It's, a, it's an Eagle's lighter. He's like, excuse me, sir, you've been drinking? <laughs> but the restrictors pulled off the yeah, oh, yeah. super eyes. Like, yeah, he did. It's like a <laughs> lightsaber. He's like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Where are you coming from tonight? Instead of the club, it's like an old Phillies mini bat. Yeah. <laughs> he's got his handles. It's like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Dude, he's city cop. He's just like, watch out. <laughs> My badge number is, you know. It's Carson like, Wentz. Like, yeah, yeah, like 99. Yeah. yeah. Bring it home for Jerome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number 99, RFP Jerome. Bring it home for Jerome. I'm Officer way. Darren Dalton. You better <laughs> watch out. <laughs> it's like, what? I'm Officer Lenny Dice. <laughs> yeah. that a huge chew. <laughs> He's just putting it in. I was like, where are you going, kid? Oh, I'm Sergeant Von Hayes, sir. <laughs> you may know me. <laughs> he just Being said- an underrated baseball player. He just starts naming championships. <laughs> He's like, Hi, I'm Officer 75 Flyers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Officer Philly Special. Yeah. I'm Officer 08 Phils. <laughs> Better watch out. <laughs> I'm going, man. Listen, I'm a champion at my job. <laughs> He's cute. 
dude, he's got the baseball trophy <laughs> oh my. on his head that he made out of fucking like tinfoil spray oh. paint. He's like, you better watch it. Dude, that's dude, dude. just trying to be above mm. the law is always funny as shit. Yeah, Because you know that guy was just like, I'm doing nothing wrong here. I had to go this way, cop. You better watch it. Yeah, it's ass. like, dude, at that point, that kid or whoever it was in the other car, uh, at that point, it's like, yeah, you got to go all in on this and somehow maybe confuse the cop. I mean, you know, nothing against cops, but Philly cops never been accused of uh, high IQs. I'll tell you like, what, man. Maybe you get him and you're like, what are you doing, man? And the cop's like, oh, fuck, am I in the wrong lane? Dude, dude I'm sorry. So <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, that works. The light is red, <laughs> sir. <laughs> That'd be funny if that car ran the red light, yeah. too. It's like, dude. Not only did you run the red light, you're in the wrong fucking lane. Dude, if he just went real cop, he's like, red means go. We all know. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what? <laughs> dude, if you trick the Philly cop, I say, it's just like, we got to sell this, dude. <laughs> I got two strikes. I am on parole, dude. Yes. I ain't doing weekends he's like, again, I'm not dude. doing it again. I don't work release. It sucks. Dude, uh, there was one time I... Drove into oncoming tra- traffic going onto the Ben Franklin Bridge. Whoa. I've actually I've seen a lot of people do that. Dude, because you don't do know to go it's under horrible. the bridge. Yeah, it's a fucking – the way they have that set up is so fucking stupid. <laughs> but when I pulled into oncoming traffic, every car was darting around. I was like, uh-oh. And then this cop comes off the media and he pulls me over. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I didn't know I couldn't do that. Yeah. I don't know where I'm at right now. He's that's like, funny. He checks your ID. It's like South Philly address. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, I was still living in Spring City. Oh, that's and, good then. But he also is like, oh, I just want to let you know your license is also expired. And you Also, know. you have a suspended license because you have two DUIs. Oh, one dude. Going, How dare you, sir? I was like, first off, way to bring up old shit. <laughs> yeah, what do you bring up old shit for, sir? <laughs> you get married. You're like, I guess, what, your squeaky clean oh, history? Yeah. <laughs> You want to tell me you've done nothing wrong, God? You just get mad. You're like, why you bring up all shit, dude? It's like, this happened three weeks ago. I'm sorry. Ago. I didn't know I was getting pulled over by Jesus himself. <laughs> Jesus, officer. Hey, M- officer. Officer M. Christ over here. <laughs> officer Zeus. A. Officer H. Christ. <laughs> Badge number the Lord, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that would be great. But I've seen that happen, especially on the on ramp over there, is because people when they make the right and it dumps you yeah, left, dude. and they don't do it. And it's so funny to watch people like tourists like, oh no, because <laughs> once you get on, you gotta go to <laughs> you Jersey. Can't now. Do anything, and dude, dude, people I've seen so many people try and pull over, and dude, I've seen people do the backup. Oh, I go, Jesus, man. because it's a blind turn on that one. It's like, dude, what is happening? Like. I think it's hilarious, though. It's great, dude. Like, old women just like... Dude, I've watched people turn around and go the wrong direction to get off of the bridge. That's and cr- people are just, like, putting their hand out the window, like, signaling. They're like, uh, going left. I think it would be funnier if somebody literally just jumped off the on <laughs> <laughs> Like, back down onto, like, 6th Street. Just like, whoa. <laughs> they got halfway on the bridge and just jumped off and parachuted. Like, oh, I'm never God. doing this again. Dude, watching people realize that they fucked up on an on or off ramp is so fucking funny, oh. man. Man. I guarantee They're just like, oh, no. every uh, municipal building that's right by the bridge has, like, still shots. You know, like, when you're on a roller coaster and, like, you know when the fucking yeah. camera's coming up. It's everybody like, oh, <laughs> like, man. damn it. It's like dude. a whole wall of idiots. Oh, they I have to. Hope they so, have dude. to, dude. That would be so fucking funny. Just like, this isn't turn, is it? <laughs> Damn it. Dude, they the vet, they pull over, and they're, like, looking around, like, you're fucked. Go pay the fucking – well, it sucks because the tolls went up, too. Oh, I know, ago, They're, what, like, five now? They're or five now. Five fifty or something. And it's like, damn, that sucks. Especially if you don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> there have been times, and it's only happened to me one time. I've been in an Uber, and they've gone over the bridge. And you can hear the guy, like, oh, no. Uh-oh. You're like you like look up because you're in your phone. You look up. Wait, like, why did an Uber go? Oh, you were going. going I was no. I was going somewhere from. Oh, but he went on the old. He wrong. went on the wrong ramp and then started oh, getting on the bridge. And you oh, hear him just go like, oh, oh, oh no, God, oh my. I lose my shit. He didn't I have five bucks so to get back. I had to give him five dollars to get back to Philadelphia. My, dude, my one buddy did that. He drove over the bridge and was fucking driving around Camden trying to find an ATM machine because he had no cash. And he's telling me, he called me, he goes, dude, I fuck, because he's from That's New York, because he doesn't know Philly. And this is years ago, but I was like, where are you? And he tells me a street, and I'm like, where the fuck is that? He's like, dude, I don't know. I definitely went over a bridge. I go, well, then you're not in Philly. <laughs> I said, you were in Pennsylvania. I know that for a fact. If you went over a bridge, you're not in it that means you're in a different state. 
New Jersey. And he's like, yo, you know what? Oh, you know what this says? It's like Camden Water. I was like, get out of there, dude. Run, run. <laughs> he's like, I'm out of gas. I don't know. He's what. like, some guy with a shotgun named Omar keeps talking to me. I'm like, yo, you got to run. Omar's coming. <laughs> He's like, I wanted to put on my white jacket and have oh. a nice hood, but I can't get out. Dude, and he's telling me that he's, like, going around this neighborhood. And I'm like, dude, find a fucking gas station or yeah. whatever. And, you know. Well-lit area. Somewhere you drop it was a actually, baby drops at, He's like, what's a good baby drop spot? <laughs> yeah, dude, tell me the baby drops. But it was, like, dusk. I do remember that. And I oh, do remember man. saying something like, dude, you got T-minus about 42 minutes. Dude. And then, dude, the ghouls come out. Dude. I was like, you ever see I Am Legend? Dude, <laughs> dusk in Camden. <laughs> Just imagine the zombies with flat dude. brims and 22s, dude. <laughs> dusk, dusk in Camden sounds like Terrifying. a shitty candle scent. Dude. It's like, no way, dude. Oh, dude, yeah, it just smells like fear. <laughs> yeah, dude, you just see, like, the sun going down and you see silhouettes of, like, people standing Ooh. up off roofs. Yeah, dude. No. It's crazy, too, because I think we're worse than Camden now. Philly is Phil, – this is one of the worst years we've had in years. Oh, with wow. uh, homicides? Homicide. Yeah, I just, dude. Crimes in general. Uh, I, I got a – I'll tell you this, dude. Shout out. Philly for the fucking citizen notifications I've been getting. Oh, yeah, man. Man, we are getting re- – I'll tell you this. We're a shithole, but we are getting very creative with our robberies. Got one the other day. Guy robbed two uh, college girls with a pair of scissors. That's awesome. <laughs> right on fucking Spring Garden, like literally 800 feet from me. And I, was, I, I, I ran out the door. I was like, please let me see this guy. He's like, yeah, it worked. Dude, two <laughs> days ago. Like, old plastic on his <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll hit you. He's holding left-handed scissors in his right hand. He's like, you see that? It's bullshit. It's going to go wild. They're curved at the, at the oh. round tip scissors. Yeah. Dude. I, yeah, I got that one. I got a... I got a notification that said uh, there was a man armed with cleats. Ooh. Now that is... A, uh, that's what I'm saying about I mean, the scissors. metal cleats, dude. What you were damage. talking about with the scissors, I'll yeah. give it to this. Philadelphia is stepping up their melee weapon game. I'll tell you that much, dude. Every time on Citizen, it is a new thing that I, I didn't even think like about, a, dude. I wonder if he had it like, tied to like, a Phillies bat oh, dude, <laughs> or like a Flyers <laughs> hockey stick. <laughs> Coming at you. <laughs> dude, there was one that said man armed with pride flag. Armed? Armed with pride flag. Are you sure that wasn't <laughs> he's just gonna a guy annoy- walking around? <laughs> no, that's a guy. He's annoying people to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we get it. We know. Shut Knock up. Get off, Oliver. He's like, I don't think you heard me the first 30 times of what I stand for. I'm like, here. we all did. I am here. Yeah. I am here. You know the next line. <laughs> I'm like, you are fear. He's like, clear. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> you are fear. You're a deer. <laughs> I'm here. I'm a deer. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> He's like, she's like, yeah, that's not the line. I'm like, what? I fucked up the line. But yeah, our melee weapon game has been going through the roof, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's been, I think, a couple of months now where it's like uh, people have been posting shit. And it's like, they're like, God, look at these fucking junkies uh, doing this or fighting and this and that. And I'm like, I don't even have to look at that. I know exactly on Gerard where that is. Dude. I was don't like, know. I know exactly where that fucking dude, is. There was one time also, again. I don't think – I think Citizen is crazy because a lot of the people, when it says armed with something, you can just say they're armed with anything and it doesn't mean that they're actually armed. They could just be carrying it. And they're like – and then people just have shit. And I live right outside of Gerard Estates and I know that all of those like old school Italians just see people like, I don't like this at all. Yeah. I'm calling the cops. They're idiots. So, so there was one outside of CVS, suspicious wheelbarrow. <laughs> What does that even mean? Dude, just two fucking yeah, it's guineas like, coming out of there with tank tops. Like, you see this wheelbarrow over this? here, Chucky? <laughs> Yo, Cha. Where's that from? I've never seen this wheelbarrow in this neighborhood before. <laughs> it's like, what do you see? Multiple ones? <laughs> he just goes over and kicks it over. He's like, I had enough. They're yelling at it. Like, yeah, this neighborhood. <laughs> Columbus was king. It's like, what? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, they just get pissed off because wheelbarrows keep showing up. It's like, and then I go down the street. There's a fucking other one, Chucky. He's like, you know what I want to say. I won't say. <laughs> These bears. <laughs> These fucking barrels. Dude, I got I, This is what I was bringing up for because I actually uh, commented on it. Because I usually don't comment. Oh, yeah. I've never, but I did because some of the comments, hilarious on Citizen App. If, and that's like a... That's like a world, or everybody can get citizen, right? That's not like uh, a, yeah. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a worldwide thing, but country, con- like U.S. like everybody, anybody in the U.S. can probably, get probably, yeah. probably, but or some form of it, obviously. Be a citizen, it, anyway. So it's like 
The one was I got a notification that there was a suspicious man hitting people uh, going in and out of Fox and Hound with a cane. Yeah. And I was like, first off, guy rules. Second off, and I put in the comments, I was like, in this guy's defense, everyone who drinks it should be hit with a fucking cane. That guy just might be fucking killing it. He's like, dude, this bar sucks, dude. Fuck <laughs> Yes, dude. Is that even crazy? Yeah, he's like, what just, are you doing? You, they show him he's like an old timey Southern dandy with like a frill. He's like, God damn it! It's just Sandman. Yeah. He's just hammered outside of it and people with the kibbutz. I would like, show up, dude. I'd oh be like, my Hell yeah, god, dude! dude. Yeah, Sandman's out front, Canaan people, fox and hound. That's and he's like just a good doing because he's frustrated with his career. He's like, ah, fuck this! I'm going to the fill. I'm gonna cane some people. With the fucking, I don't care. Sandman becomes a bouncer. He's like, look, if you want me. The cane comes with yeah, it. Instead of stamping your head, he's like, he's got a <laughs> in the head. Everyone has that's a like he's sink. bleeding a little. <laughs> that's how. That's your fucking hand stamp. It's Sam man's door guard. If you want to get back in, there you go. <laughs> Watch <laughs> me ass. Oh. Show that on the way out, and we'll let you back in. That's he's like, were you in here before? You have to be like, <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> you have to just cry fears. <laughs> you come in wearing a barbed wire halo. I'm like, I've been here all night. <laughs> It's like, oh, wow. it's like, yeah, he's good. I remember him. He's good. good he's catch. good. He's good catch. Man. Yeah, so the crime well. has been uh, out of hand. And it's only going to get worse as the it's, summer goes on. And it's also, too, because, like, people, you know, most people from outside of Philly would assume it's, like, North Philly or, like, deep in the West or whatever. It's, like, all the crimes I'm seeing recently, like Rittenhouse, they're yeah. all in the fucking, like, anywhere now can be something. It's really, I haven't heard shit about North Philly. Obviously, no. I know their stats are still up. That's there. All, dude, the Citizen Always app only runner. goes so far. North Philly, they just assume everything yeah, bad You go happened. on the Citizen app and you even scroll over to North Philly. It's just a skull and crossbones. <laughs> dude, dude, it's the part of the island in Escape from New York that has all red <laughs> just, over it. Like, nah. It just shows snake points. <laughs> <laughs> but surfing on a sea of trash. Just <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> Surfing on a, a sea of empty gun <laughs> clips, <laughs> just old trash cans. That's how it would be, man. There's parts like I think North Philly is just called Citizen App. Yeah, that's, that's all it's called. You can't even go there now. Yeah, but I think it's like the out of bounds in Warzone. <laughs> <laughs> you get those like bah, bah, bah. you just delete. <laughs> you can't go. I mean, you will die. <laughs> Everyone in North Philly is like the hills have eyes. Oh, it's like my there's God. a lot of jupes up there, dude. Dude, if they had a gangster Jupiter, dude, <laughs> the like dude's head is back. It's like got a fucking flat brim fucking Brooklyn Nets hat. <laughs> He's like, oh, I am. What up, yeah? But his whole it's just like on the side of his eyes, like, oh, no. <laughs> What are they doing in here, motherfucker? Uh, that's Dude, too fucking funny. Just cries like, give me all your mind. Yeah, it's uh, it's been wild, though, because I know it's wild, and it's shitty, because I know how much other people not from Philly would appreciate these notifications, where I'm like, oh, what, a hammer attacks? Okay. Yeah, What's it, Wednesday already? All right. Good. Like, I don't, the, the guy hitting people with a cane outside of Fox and Hound, hilarious, but I just looked at it like, Pfft. yeah, good for him. It's also like when you see that, you're like, oh, it just won't go that way. Because there's like gainings happening in fucking Philadelphia. You're like, don't also, go there. So it's like, how is this guy getting multiple people? Yeah. It's like, fuck. You have one Fox. person with a cane. Fox and Hound is fucking huge. They always have like 12, 13 people on staff. One, not one bartender group. I'm like, hey, buddy, could you stop whacking our customers with a cane? He's like, <laughs> They're no. just like, ah, the guy over at fucking table 39, he keeps hitting people. Don't go Dude, over there, though. be so funny. It's just like Jimmy Rollins out there in an old Phillies jersey just fucking just taking cuts, pal. What's the problem? <laughs> $10, I'll hit you. That's hit you It was me, but instead of the Flyers trial, I'm like, Philly's got to see my power, dude. <laughs> just yacked up, just cranking fucking Kimbo sticks at people. <laughs> dude, see, I were, cut that's a good cut. You a fucking Frank Thomas jersey. <laughs> like, <here laughs> white <go>. <laughs> You're like, here we go. <laughs> and it's just a wiffle ball bat, <laughs> but like the big red one. <laughs> And you're wearing a Wally World hat with a fucking pinwheel on the top. You're like, here, <laughs> time to do it. Yeah, Jesus anymore. Christ, dude. Yeah, but, I mean, I could have been on the Citizen app earlier today. That guy dumping piss in South Philadelphia. Oh, right. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Now, here, that's, a, you know, if you live in South Philly or ever been to South Philly, dumping piss, that's the tale of oldest time. But when you start getting the gallon, dude, first off, it's like, what are you, saving your piss What up? is going on? I And, like, again, I was telling you, I was like, I don't know where... 
Like what? At what point do you speak up to somebody? And be like, hey, what are you doing over there? Not when he's got more than a fucking cup full of piss. Yeah, it wasn't like a, again. If like if I saw somebody dumping a Gatorade bottle full of piss on the sidewalk, I'd be like, all right, that guy yeah, was driving exactly having a like a long day. This guy had one of those medical waste fucking u neck things that somebody pees in. It was de- like some it's like, just like a hefty bag <laughs> for like those people that were buying gas. <laughs> <laughs> He's got pissed. Like, what are you doing? He dude? had a Franzia bag full of piss. It's also, like, all I'm the places clicking. in South Philly, let alone any city, where, like, you know, if you're in the heart of any major city, it's like, why are you – just go to an alleyway. Yeah, dude. Get rid of it. Every alleyway in Philadelphia stinks like the devil's dude. ball sack, dude. So it's like, you're just adding. Dude, he was like Cousin Eddie, just dumping pee into the fucking sewer. And, I was and this like, is on your street? This is one block away from me. And I was going to at the like corner. the top of your, like yeah. so. If I walk out of your house to the left or right, you go left. Okay, turn, so I go like the turn top the corner there. at twentieth. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like twentieth and Rittner. And I was like going to the corner store, and I'm like, and that area smells. Oh, it's horrible. Bad anyway in the summer because hot take. Too many fucking animals. Too many dogs. Oh, yeah. in South Philadelphia. Yep. I don't give a shit what anybody says. And you cats. have too many dogs and cats. And it's just piss and shit everywhere. None of you fucks clean it up. And it sucks. And every summer it gets hotter and grosser. And now there's a dude dumping human piss all over the fucking black sidewalk. It is terrible. Dude. That should be your campaign speech when you run for mayor of Philly. You're like, what? the fucks ain't clean up the clean piss. Clean up the shit. piss. Philly, what about the economy? You're like, listen, I don't know about any of that I'm stuff. I'm starting small, dude. <laughs> Something we can fix. Can't- like, you got a garbage bag full of piss. You got a problem, Look, my friend. I, don't, I can't go after the guy caning people at Fox and Hound. <laughs> I won't go over the scissor robberies <laughs> or the cleat attacks. What I will say is this dick at 20th dude. and Rittner. Is dumping piss, and I've had enough. So, what did he? What did he have again? What did he? What was he dumping it out of? He like, was, was he putting it into so a sewer? It, no, it was like right by the drain. But he was dumping it. It was like he was pouring one out for his friends. He was just like, yeah, yeah. How many dead homies Dude, did he have? Enough to fill up a fucking three liter thing. Dude, it had the numbers uh, on it on the side. Oh yeah, yeah. It was definitely somebody who was either an invalid. Or I was gonna say, uh, yeah, who, who this guy who you saw him obviously like? Did he look? Like, no, you know. Little something, little, no, little, dude. Wah. He was fully a able. little. Wah, you know? <laughs> I don't want to be, uh, you know, politically incorrect, oh, wow. but was he a little like, you know? Excuse me, you're medically taco- speaking. <laughs> was he bit- <laughs> <laughs> Your Taco Bell baby has been born with. <laughs> it's it's so. very treatable. <laughs> Dude, I can't Put wait. in front of bright lights at all times. Dude, I can't wait for the fucking commercials to treat. <laughs> gonna... Hi, is your child dealing with? <laughs> Dude, I should do a doctor Dude. video. I'm like, hi, how you doing? I'm treating. <laughs> you got one of them? <laughs> you can't have. <laughs> is he all like? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> maybe you got all these things. Was he diagnosed with annoying piece of shit? <laughs> Is your son diagnosed with dumping pissiosius? Dude. <laughs> I don't know. That, that sounds medical. Sack of shit-itis. <laughs> yeah, dude. So wait, you saw him. Did he didn't... I saw him, and then I was like... I was like... I, How I, many layers of shirts did he have on? Dude, he... Honestly, he had a... More than two. He had, no, he had a uh, hooded sweatshirt on, and it was What year was his Mike Mamula jersey? <laughs> 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 Dude, he had a hooded sweatshirt on. It's hot as shit. Oh. But then, like, cargo shorts and flip flops. And well, he, how old was he? Dude, he had to be in his late late forties. Okay. He was an older guy. Yeah. And like, I went to the corner store, and like, part of me was like, "Is this the time where I have to stand up for my community right now?" Because it already smells bad. It's insane to me that it's like. That, Even you were yeah. really like, all right, dude, I got to draw man. the line somewhere. See, that's, that's what, what happens. I mean. You've gotten sober and you're like, what are we animals? Yeah, I was like, like oh, oh my dude, God. Three months ago, you were dropping poops in the sewer. Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? I, I had sleeping bags full of shit. <laughs> it's like. You just have Coleman. <laughs> Coleman sleeping bags worth of crap. I'm like, why don't you shit in the toilet? You're like, I just do it all in once. What I crap my fucking sleeping bag up. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a Deer Park office water jug full of turds. Every like, Sunday right, night, right. you'll never have like the garbage bags out there. There's just like Coleman's sleeping bag. 
Dude, Time to put out my poops. I'm throwing out an IKEA dresser full of cum. I'm like, I got you. Man. So wait, did you say anything to the kid? I did. I said, Hey, what are you doing? Wait, so you went in the corner store when you came back out. Was he still unloading? Well, no, he like was he was like doing it, but like shaking it. He, dude, he was just like doing it, and then he was standing there smoking. And it was like, I was like, What the fuck? Yes, man? never mind. This guy rules. And I was like, Hey, and he's like, What? I was like, Come on! And I just said, Come on, man. Yeah. And he's like. What man? What's a, what's your problem? He's like, what's your problem? I'm like, dude, yeah, of course, yeah. What is your? Problem? I was like, why are you dumping piss? And like, it's already gonna smell. It smell. I can smell saying, it now. Did you see it? Was it how golden was it? Was oh, it, was this guy wow. hydrated? Oh no! So it was like early morning stuff, dude. Whatever, <laughs> whatever piss he had had, he had been saving it for something and then ran out of time to use dude, it. Dude, that's a guy. It was bad. That's a guy who took like three free judo classes and was like, I gotta fucking test my skills. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm going to fill up a trash bag full of piss. Early morning stuff, so it stinks. It was First almost, person says something, they're getting it. Yeah, he's like, I got to fucking bait people in. <laughs> That's how he starts a fight. Yeah, dude. He he's was smoking. Like, out. He's like, you've seen that? I'm proud of it. It was like that scene in Fight Club where like, you got to start a fight. And you're going to lose. But he's just out there dumping piss. Like, who's going? <laughs> That'd be funny if that was what they did in Fight Club <laughs> instead of like the smiley face. He's yeah. like, who's on dumping piss tonight? It's just Meatloaf dumping piss. <laughs> but Meatloaf doesn't know. Bob's like, I did it. They're like, we didn't want you to do this. He's like, Project like, Mayhem. They're, yeah, they're like, that's no one even saw you. He's like, I did it in the backyard. They're like, that's not good for us, dude. <laughs> Look where we live. <laughs> he just he shits in Jared Leto's pillowcase. He's like, Project Mayhem. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, you do not get the concept yeah, they of it. It's like, what? They actually get a guy on the team who's actually like, ah, ah, and then they put him on. <laughs> it's like, a little, oh. It's like, well, Bob's a little, oh, but we're going to put him on some cool Project Mayhem shit. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes around making swastikas out of poop. He's like, Project Mayhem. Yeah, instead of Edward Norton figuring out that he is Brad Pitt, he just he's going around the country to find out where Milo dumped trash bags of poop. <laughs> he's like, Was he here too? They're like, yes, sir. You... You know he was here. <laughs> he told us you were coming. He's got a Ziploc baggie full of turds. He's like, he left. He's here. like, don't worry. I'm a member. <laughs> yeah, he has, he's like, you're Mr. Durden. You're the guy who gave me this. It's <laughs> just a bag full of poop. <laughs> it's just a Oh, like, my what? God. He's like, and we have lost cabin pressure. <laughs> dude. I, dude, if Fight Club was all about Edward Norton hiding shit in different oh, places. That would be so That's, good. That, dude, that would have been a so left much. turn in that book. Dude, it's like you met me at a really weird time in my life. Instead of the buildings blowing up, just like porta potties <laughs> tipping over with his poop. <laughs> and dude, they're watching an they're watching an outdoor music festival and it's sort of like <laughs> domino effect. He's like <laughs> Instead of all his buildings blow up, he's like him and that him and Marla just watch one little fucking porta potty like boop, he's like Project Mayhem. <laughs> She's like, you're kind of an <laughs> asshole. But he also did shoot himself in the head. <laughs> he still did that. <laughs> Why would you do that? Like, you know, Project Mayhem. Mayhem. Project Mayhem. And Marla's just like, I think he's a little. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Tyler is just a little. <laughs> Dude, how shitty would it be if you had a multiple personality and, and they're all retarded? Was, oh, that would be the worst. Oh, dude, just like what you may call it, like in uh, what was that M Night with fucking what's his name with uh, James McElroy played like the, oh yeah, yeah split yeah but one of them but one of them was just totally fucking <laughs> he's, retarded. It's like hello, I'm the English woman. And then he's like, hey, what's up? You ever drink piss? <laughs> I'm Billy from South Philly. It rhymes. <laughs> like, you got Skittles? <laughs> it's like Bruce Willis is sitting there like, I, I think he's a little... Uh... <laughs> Bruce Willis <laughs> and fucking Samuel Jackson are like, God damn it. I was like, yeah. So like, I think he's one of the... Uh, you know. <laughs> We're waiting for the beast to come out because this guy is... <laughs> the beast shows up and he's like, was Billy from... Was he here? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Dude, he's got his face covered in poop, and like the old woman shows up, like, I really hate when he comes out like that. from South Philly, dude. Damn it. That would be his awesome poop. if that was one of his personalities. <laughs> he's just like a retarded kid. <laughs> They're like, well, I think we could take this guy. Yeah, I don't know. Just, just get that yeah, target. Throw tinfoil about 100 feet that way. Yeah. Just don't leave. What was that kid's biggest weakness? A jar full of nickels. We didn't even know. <laughs> just shake it. Just he's shake like, it. He's like, away, dude. He's like a scared cat. <laughs> Yeah, 
dude. That would be great. <laughs> like, oh yeah, we were talking about that. What's that? You and your friends are gay. Oh, dude, That's gay Batman. Good, if that's Batman, if, if it's strictly Dark Knight Rises, but if Batman, if Dark Knight Rises was oh, and it's just the Dark gay, Knight, not the Dark Knight Rises. That's with Bane. Oh, yeah, the yeah, Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, which already sounds like a porno. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a lot of BBC. You know what I'm saying? Dark. <laughs> I mean, obviously, endless amounts of t- alternate titles for that, but but yeah, when we, you and Del Gallo were doing it the other night, we were playing Warzone. I was fucking dying, like just going back and forth about if, if the lines, same lines, but just gay. Yeah, it's like when the guy when they start robbing the bank, it's like you and your friends are gay. <laughs> it's like you know whose bank this is. You and your friends are gay, <laughs> and then the guy's like, he's out of the closet, right? <laughs> Out of the closet. Right? It's like who to- taught you I to mean, suck dick? I bet you the joker told you to yeah. suck my dick. <laughs> no, no, I'm supposed to eat the bus driver's ass. What bus driver? <laughs> it was just a gay ass comes through the wall. <laughs> and then, like the joker's like, see how queer it has made everything. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one where he's, Batman's interrogating him? Oh, dude, he's like, look what you've done with all your power. You've got nothing to fuck me with. <laughs> you never start out with that dick yeah. in the ass. <laughs> he punches him right in the fucking butthole. He's like, <laughs> never start out with the asshole. The victim gets all fuzzy. <laughs> but, dude, the Joker shit's all tight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, limp wristed, limp wristed Joker would be so I like funny. My phone call. He's like, I thought my jokes were bad. <laughs> Dude, limp wristed Heath Ledger would be the best Dude, in Batman. I wish Heath Ledger was just so fucking high when he shot that. He's like, I'm just gonna fuck with him and see if anybody yeah. notices. He's like, I'm thinking about going super gay, and it's like, Nolan's like, I like it. Yeah, he goes in. He's like, Why buy curious? <laughs> I don't know. Hello, lady. and <laughs> yeah. gentleman. Gentle he already man. sounds yeah, kind of exactly, gay. Exactly, dude. You know, he already sounds kind of gay. So it's funny, too, because they had that video. I don't know how true it is, but there's that video for years now. They say he got it from that Tom Waits interview. So Oh, yeah. There's an interview okay. with Tom Waits from, like, back in, like, the 70s, 80s. And it's like, you hear Tom Waits sing, who sounds like a fucking, just a bull gargling fucking cum. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm a pretty big fan, though. I like Waits. He's good. <laughs> But when you hear him talk just normal, he's about, yeah. he sounds exactly like, hey, yeah. how's it going? Oh, no. Yeah, and it's like, dude, that's just so funny if Ledger's like, I like that, but maybe flare it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe get a little pride behind it. Just a little bit. <laughs> dude, when he says, when he, if, if, even if just Ledger replaced father with daddy in the oh. one part, it's like, I, you sound just like my daddy. <laughs> I hate it. They're my all like, daddy. What? Like, <laughs> they're at Harvey Dent's party. He's like, we don't have to take anything from thugs like you. He's like, hey, mister. Remind me of my daddy. You remind me of my daddy. I, I hate my daddy right now. <laughs> Let me tell you about how I got these scars. <laughs> the funniest would be, he's like, he's, he makes the two black guys fight, but instead of a pool cue, it's a dildo. <laughs> he throws out a double-sided dildo. He's like, make it quick. They both lead each other like... I'm just going to head out. <laughs> He's like, all right. I want to see your butthole have aggressive expansion. <laughs> like, we have not. What's happening? <laughs> Wait a minute. What is this? <laughs> Instead of the knife to the bite to his mouth, he just has like a fucking, like a, it's just like an anal plug just yeah. like right in there. And they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> he just throws him in the ground. Like, <laughs> they, I'm just when they apprehend the Joker, and they're like, nothing in his pockets but anal beads and lint. And they're just it's all it, custom. It's like all, no clothing, no labels. <laughs> the laying out of shit. It's like a pocket pussy. Yes, it's dude. like, what? One is just a single finger. He's like, what is that? <laughs> it's know. just the hand. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's just... No, it's like this. It's just the fist. It's like we didn't think he'd have that. Dude, oh my god. And then like the subway scene. Or not subway, but when they're going on the bridge and he calls up on the semi. Oh and yeah. It says like laughter or slaughter is the best medicine yeah. or whatever. Dude, that'd be so funny. Like the picture is just some guy tearing up another dude's ass <laughs> instead of a clown. Dude, no, just, like who's that? What the fuck? It's just a tanker truck that just says KY personal lubricant. He's like, rack em up, rack em up. <laughs> It's like we did not think about that. Like, is that a dildo? Where the fuck did you get a dildo? <laughs> get a dildo? <laughs> Instead of a bazooka. <laughs> it's just like every other scene is Batman talking to Gordon like, I don't know what's happening here. 
this guy's clearly gay. He's like, what is he? I forget what prompts it for Batman at that party, you know? But then he comes up behind the joke. He's like, you're going to love me. <laughs> and then he turns out he's just in like a disco outfit. He's like, yeah. hey. He's like, what? Dude, he turns around. Batman has Elton John big glasses. He's like, Saturday night's all right for fighting, huh? <laughs> the level. <laughs> Oh no, dude. dude! Or it's like just the Joker keeps making fun of the way the fucking Maggie Gyllenhaal looks. He's like, "What's up with your face? <laughs> Ew! Oh, <laughs> nice shirt. Downgrade from last the year. Called they want their outfit back. <laughs> <laughs> what dude. happened to Katie Holmes? <laughs> Instead of like this fucking you know soundtrack that's all like orchestra, thing, it's just like Philadelphia Freedom. <laughs> Phil, uh. Don't be afraid of Dude, it's like just Heath Ledger showed up one day, he's just wearing just heels. And no one doesn't address <laughs> like it at all. Nuts, like dude. he is a crazy that's a crazy joker. That's dude. the joker I want. Literally what? out of his cross dressing joker. Just so crazy. It's like, like no one gets it. One time he, he walks into that meeting in the dude. fucking kitchen, but he's dressed as Cher. It's like what? He's like, hi, bye. Yeah, he just his share is in the turn back time video <laughs> with ass. the leather and his ass is I out. I my jokes were bad. Yeah. <laughs> if I could turn back time. <laughs> but like his face paint is just poop. He's, it's like, Dude. what is this? Oh, no. So he had no idea this was going to happen with that. Oh, Holy shit. Holy fucking Dude, shit. Dude, man. Oh, man. And you know what the funny thing is? It's like. They should have went because when they introduced that character, like they showed Ledger as a joke, everybody was like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah. It's not like the you know traditional pain of fate like Jack Nicholson. So they're like, "This is gonna be dumb, whatever." It's like, dude, I wish Nolan was like, "You know what? Fuck these pussies. Put those fucking stems on. <laughs> Let's turn it up a notch on them." To like, you know, Ledger, brilliant, dude. He went with those fucking those those Jimmy Changs or whatever, Jimmy Wang, fucking whatever. Jimmy Chu. <laughs> if one time he's wearing like three thousand dollar heels, <laughs> dude. If Ledger just goes back, he shows up as the dude from Brokeback. He's just oh. like, yeah, but he's he's got the Joker face, but he's in a cowboy. He's like, I'd like to quit you. <laughs> that I thought my cock sucking was bad. <laughs> Or when he just goes up to Maggie Jones, like, remember when I fucked your brother? (laughs) 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 Dude, you know, one of the gayest things the Joker actually did do was when he jumped down the money pile, it was like, (laughs) wee! It's like, all right, dude. Kind of (laughs) gay. He's wearing a tag top that says no swallowing allowed. (laughs) He's like, wee! Like <laughs> there's just like bubbles coming yeah. down. Like, it's like it's some gay nightclub. Every one of his henchmen are completely confused. Like we have no idea what's going. On. <laughs> they go to his lair. They go to the bathroom. There's just holes in the stalls. Like, what is this? <laughs> it's, like, it's like hi. The Joker took over Studio 54. <laughs> He's just like anyone's allowed in, but not everyone's allowed in. Here's <laughs> my biggest arch nemesis, Ludes. <laughs> You know who it is? The New York Police Department. They don't want anything fun. Dude, that, you know for a fact, like, of, you see all those old pictures of Studio 54 and stuff they wore. You know someone came dressed as, like, the Joker oh, or something. Oh, like, fucking right. You know, you, because, I mean, the Joker started, like, back in, like, the 50s. There's no way the somebody did not. I guarantee Cesar Romero wasn't there. He had to have been there at one night just, like, partying and, like, as the Joker. Like, <laughs> Dude, that'd be fuck, so fucking fuck, funny. Dude. Dude, he, it's like Vito and the Sopranos. They're like, Caesar? He's like, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> fuck are you doing here, dude? He's sucking a dick. He's like, sorry. You're, you're a fag. He's like, it's a joke. I'm a secret fag. Hey, don't tell no one. <laughs> you better not tell anybody. The, Riddler, the Riddler's called him. He's like, hey, Caesar. Uh, what's going on, dude? <laughs> the, the confrontation between the Riddler and the Joker is like, uh, yo, Joker, are you one of them? You know, <laughs> or <yeah. laughs> they're just sitting around a table. Who was that? Right? Was and fucking, yeah. uh, or you mean? <laughs> He's like, wait, so you're a. Uh... Oh my god, dude, that would be so funny if that scene in what you call it in, uh, in outside Providence. Outside Providence, with just the it's, Joker, it's, but it's like the, the all the villains, villains, like the Penguin, and them yeah. are sitting around. They're like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Joker's like, ah! <laughs> runs out of the room. They're like, God damn, the fucking Joker, man. Dude, that's so fucking you believe funny. believe this shit? Oh, my God. All right, let's wrap this oh, up and go to Patreon. Um, what's coming up? 
Uh, Ooh, the 26. 20, 26. Next week. Lovable uh, monsters at the punchline. Um, yeah, and Fennel's on it. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Right. Yeah, the 26th. Right. That's next Wednesday. Uh, hit one of us up if you can come uh, or want to come, and we can probably get you comps, I think. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, sure. And uh, 31st, I'm at the stand. And then June 14th, me and Shane will be on rap. Talking to old Luis and the Amics. We should go in there as gay Batman with Lewis. Dude, that was, Lewis would be like, what's happening? Yeah, no, we go in as gay it, Batman, dude. then Amico would already dude, be dressed up like that. It would fuck. turn it would turn Lewis into Will Smith and I am legend when he sees the man. He's like, wait, wait, what the fuck is you better not be real, man? He's like, <laughs> he, dude, his head, his wires would get so crossed. We're like, hey Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's like, I like or this. Or if you didn't address it, I think like just dressing a certain way, just not addressing it at all. Like if you just showed up with a kerchief like tied around your neck, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, man, what's up? Like know. Bruce, I don't <laughs> yeah, what that yeah. guy's name was. <laughs> but it's like polka dotted. You just <laughs> are the same way the whole time. You don't address hey, it. Hey, thanks for having us. Uh. <laughs> And I just have a romper on. I'm like, I don't know. Miko's just like, I like this is good. Yeah, this is good, good. Like, hey, like, somehow good. Ian shows up. He's like, I heard another yeah, chip was here. You just see Ian crawl That's, out of Zach's ass. <laughs> That's Ian's back call. It's just some gay wearing a neck of chip. Yeah. <laughs> And instead of a bat signal, it's a guy no, bent over. The, in the bat signal is just a limp wrist. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a huge yeah. <laughs> see a shadow of a dick hanging. Ian's like, I gotta go. <laughs> Dude, you just see Ian's in his shitty apartment just like. <laughs> <laughs> he goes full Keaton. Yes. <laughs> Dude, just like wailing. <laughs> Oh, that's too good. Holy shit. All right, that's good, right? All right. All right, cool.